If I were to ask you to speculate on future innovations, do you have anything that you see coming down the line? Just like everything in boating, it's all about balance. That's a big question, a big story. Anyone really can build a boat, but what separates one from another is how well they work out all the details. Those steps forward and that constant commitment to improving our product really makes this exciting. We're fortunate that we've got really twice as many people looking into, you know, what's next. Whatever adaptations we need to make to keep moving forward, we will. Whenever we are presented with a challenge, a conflict, something that seems insurmountable, there's no way we can make it happen. People always step forward and get it done. Maine has long been an enclave of practical American boat building, continuously evolving and quick to adopt new materials, processes, and equipment whenever any advantage might be found. Today, Maine's boat builders continue to lead the way in marine manufacturing, from traditional wood construction to advanced composites and computational design technology, Maine is a hub of innovation within the industry, producing vessels intended for national defense, commercial shipping, fishing and lobstering, and pleasure cruising. Such a wide spectrum of boat building endeavors clustered together naturally creates a pool of expertise and practical experience which further propels the state's industry as a whole. The state's institutions of higher learning complement this concentration of enterprises with education programs focused on boat building and manufacturing technologies. One such operation is the University of Maine's Advanced Structures and Composites Center, which is home to the world's largest thermoplastic 3D printer and recipient of three Guinness World Records related to their production of the world's first 3D printed boat. In 2018, the Advanced Structures and Composites Center received a generous grant from the Maine Technology Institute to form a technology cluster designed to remove barriers that hinder the adoption of advanced manufacturing processes by the state's boat building industry. This partnership between the university, MTI, and local boat builders, including sister companies Sabre Yachts and Backcove Yachts, is on track to revolutionize some long-held boat building practices and has already allowed Backcove Yachts to incorporate custom-designed 3D printed parts into their newest outboard model the soon-to-be-released Backcove 390. In this series, Breaking the Mold, our design team will offer a behind-the-scenes look at our evolving manufacturing processes and offer insight into the industry-wide application of this new technology. We invite you to join us as we introduce the world of large-scale bio-based advanced manufacturing and its intersection with Maine's boat building industry. Hear from frontline educators and industry experts developing reusable and reprintable materials designed to drastically reduce waste in the manufacturing process. Explore additive manufacturing, its early applications in the new Backcove 390, and the continued adoption process for future Sabre and Backcove models. Follow along as Sabre and Backcove expand our in-house 3D printing capabilities to produce the right parts for our designs and the right tools for the job, all for a fraction of the weight and waste found in traditional construction methods. Celebrate next generation innovations through our research and development partnership with UMaine's Advanced Structures and Composites Center. And finally, Enjoy a glimpse into the evolution of Down East inspired design featuring cutting edge processes and materials used to create the next generation of beautiful, seaworthy Maine built boats. I don't know that there's a lot of other builders out there that can say that, you know, they've got what might be their biggest competitor, you know, as their best friend. It's a, it's a brand that over 16 years has gone from zero to being one of the most prominent brands in the Down East segment. We'll continue to innovate and develop product. We're fortunate to have an incredibly talented design and development team. And I'm confident that they're going to keep us on track, making sure we implement the latest technologies and innovate and, and create new product, but also make sure that we don't stray from our core and 
remember who we are and do things the way that we do things.